It took a little while to get him going. When he came to us, he had been out of training for a while, so we had to go a little slow and, and, and bring him along. But as he got further down the road and he got closer to where it was time to test him out against some other horses, you know, then he started to, you know, start to give us an idea that his ability was above par. The Sam Davis is a race that, you know, we've put on our radar. We brought him down here to train for it. He's trained well, so they've elected to run here in that race and he's trained really nicely for it and we're very happy with where he is. He's breezed well. This will be a bit of a test for, for him and the others. You know, it's, it's his first two-turn race. I don't worry about it so much as far as the distance goes or anything, but it is different than what he's done before. As far as his preparation and everything, I've been very happy with him. It's a good group of horses. It's a very good group of horses. So I, all I can hope for is, you know, just to get away good and give ourselves a chance to, to run our best race. And hopefully he's up for it. He's been three for three going into this. He's earned a, quite a bit of respect, especially off of the fast race in the Nashua. You know, we're just kind of keep building our resume, hopefully, and see where he takes us. We kind of look and see what's out there and we get an idea, but there's, there's many options. And, you know, we'll get past this weekend and hopefully if he has a good, good race and he, and he runs the way that we're hoping, you know, we'll start to discuss what would possibly be next. This is what we work for, you know, to get a nice young horse that looks like he has an unlimited amount of potential. This is what gets everybody motivated and, you know, it's the first thing you think about every day is these kinds of horses. So, uh, you know, we want things to continue and, and hopefully he takes us right on down the line.